Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Today we are looking at the love triangle. So for those of you who are involved in third party situations, whether you be the one who has two parties, or whether you are the, the husband or the wife in the situation, or the long term partner or the other person, uh, this reading will apply to you. Okay, so the way in which we're doing it is we're using five Lenormand decks here and you can choose a deck, um, either deck one, two, three, four or five. And the timestamp will be in the description box below so you can go directly to your reading. And uh, what we're doing is we are choosing three cards for you, three cards for the uh, your partner and three cards for the other person in your relationship. So that is regardless of whether you are the other person or uh, the there is a husband or wife that's the other person. Okay, so uh, this I'm doing this video because it's been highly requested. Well, there's been various questions about uh, third party situations uh, which you've asked me to do, and um, I just feel that this reading here should be able to answer all of your questions whether that person's going to leave you, uh, leave them for you or leave you for them. Or it's going to ask, um, yeah, it's going to be able to cover all the scenarios, you know. Um, and so whether they love you more or lo love them more. And all of these questions, which I don't feel uh, really comfortable covering in a single reading. But uh, we will cover all the questions under the third party situation uh, in this love triangle uh, reading. So go ahead and choose a deck for yourself. You may pause the video at this stage if you have not yet chosen a deck um, which you're drawn to. And um, I'm going to go ahead and begin the reading. What is it that we need to know about all parties involved? What is it that we need to know about all parties involved? And so I'm asking here, show me what I need to know for the querent, that is the person asking the question. And I'm going to shuffle again and ask, show me what I need to know about the current love, uh, whoever it is that they are in love with. We are now asking, show me what I need to know about the person, the other person in this relationship. Hmm. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to begin... Um, by asking about you in this situation, all right? And uh, these are the cards that we're looking at for you in this situation. So I see a move or some travel, I see a child and I see a secret or a book. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is that um, there may be a context where you are at a distance from this person and there is the beginning of something that's secret or it could be a scenario where, um, well, there's still, uh, the, yeah, you're at a distance with this person or there's travel involved here um, and uh, there's a child involved, literally a child. So there could be a secret child or um, a child that's not known to the uh, to the to the third party. It could also be that uh, you are trying to hide the fact that you have a child uh, or that you have a child at a distance. OK, for those of you who don't have children and that doesn't uh, work at all for you, um, I would say that. Uh, you you still I still feel that there's a distance here and uh, where you need to travel 
to each other and that there is a new beginning which is secret so a clandestine beginning between you two or maybe you were on a trip and you met this person and uh, there began a, a clandestine affair or some something that was secret something that cannot be spoken about so easily um, so or perhaps um, there was a chance that you could have had something previously but it didn't begin until you took a trip together or until you met each other while traveling or until uh, well sort of like a trip or a some time away consolidated this so another example could be that you were um, this is a work colleague of which with which you were uh, away on a trip and then began then you know this this kind of encounter happened which is a secret encounter and, and a new beginning in in terms of your love so this is where i see that you are sitting right now so i want to hear what the um what what your love i want to hear about your love so here i see uh that your that your love is the one who's uh, cheating okay the love is your love is the one who's being dishonest or being sneaky uh, and he has or she has a decision to make regarding this and that may uh, involve a contract uh, it may involve a marriage contract or uh, some contract like a lease agreement uh, or some some kind of contract it could be a contract at work perhaps they work with their partner or would they work with this other person and they need to um, re rewrite the contract or it could be that they need to um, rework the marriage contract or they need to come to some kind of arrangement with the person that they're involved with um, and that's a decision that they need to make here and uh, they are the ones who are being sneaky about it they're not really being honest um, they're not being honest uh, with regard to the person that they have in their lives here I feel that they are being honest with regard to you and um, yeah because they're looking th there's an open path here to you whereas there's dishonesty uh, that's facing this way here so I just want to look at the other party and uh, whatever questions you have about the other person not your love but the other person so um yeah okay so here's the situation where um there is a uh there's really a lot of difficulty uh with regard to a marriage or with regard to a commitment and there's a lot of talk about this about this difficulty with regard to this commitment or this marriage and there's an a need to talk about there's a need to talk about the fact that there is this difficulty so it might be that other people are talking about this uh, or that they, they need to talk about it, or they are already talking about it but it's very difficult for them okay so they are finding it all very hard so if you these are very direct questions and um the lonormand cards give you very direct answers and i i didn't you know, I just want to get the facts here. I don't want to go into the psychology of what's actually going on here. And so that's why I've chosen the Lenormand deck to read here. I didn't choose the, the tarot to go into this. Um, and so what I'm seeing very basically is that there's a new beginning that's clandestine that is uh, there, which is secret. They may be at a distance towards you or to, uh, from you, I mean, or they are, you met each other on a trip. And uh, there's this person here who's involved with the other or married to the other. And they have a decision to be made regarding that contract. And I think they, they, they're seriously considering, considering that. Um, so in this scenario, I would say that this person is actually seriously considering, um, well, re, uh, well, altering or reworking the contract that they have with them, the marriage contract or... Um, perhaps bringing that to an end or making an arrangement around that and that their partner is finding it this person's partner your love's partner uh, is finding this really difficult yeah and it's finding this the conversations about this to be really really difficult if they have I feel that they have begun the conversations if not then this person is actually not being honest regarding um, regarding regarding you they haven't told uh, this person about you because here I see them being sneaky 
and not being honest and being cunning and clever and manipulative uh, towards this person. And here I see this person trying to get gather information, trying to um, get to the bottom of this, trying to talk about this and finding it really difficult. And the reason they're finding it difficult is because this person still has to make a decision. They haven't made a decision as yet and they are not being honest. OK, and the contract year is a marriage. Yeah. So the, I do believe this this, per, this person is, mar is married and you are the secret in this marriage here. So um, the secret is what is difficult here. And um, yeah, what she doesn't know that or he doesn't know that um, that this person is is needing to make a decision about the secret here, but it directly influences her or him. I feel so much that this is a female energy here, but of course this could apply to both men and women. Um, or this could be a man or a woman as well as this, you know, it, it applies both ways. All of my readings apply both ways. So uh, I'm just trying to see if there's anything else I see here. They are open to being with you. Uh, I don't see them directly choosing you, but I do see them altering the situation here and making, uh, they, they need to make a decision. So they may actually decide to, uh, th it's not certain that they have decided you, okay? And I want you to be clear about that because they're having these conversations about the marriage. It doesn't mean that they, um, have chosen you so this is something where uh they there is a chance where they could actually choose you there is, is a chance where they could continue having uh simply a you as a secret all right and um there is a there is a chance that that will be the case but i feel that there's a greater chance that they will succumb to this here because there is more than one path leading in this direction and I feel that um, they will, they could potentially succumb to the conversations that they have, or to the difficulties of the situation. So it might become really difficult to to leave this marriage or to leave the situation. And they may succumb to that. They may decide, okay, it's too difficult, and therefore choose to rather have an affair with you. And then, of course, it's up to you to make a, a decision about that. So um, I'm trying to see if there's anything else that I see here. I feel like for some of you that the thought has crossed your mind of writing a letter to the other person and telling them about yourself, telling them about the secret, and that would uh, impact their marriage or their relationship with your lover uh, directly. I feel that uh, in many instances here that you're, uh, you don't realize what you're getting into. Uh, that this is a bigger, something bigger, which you only have one uh, facet of, which you only see one aspect of, and it's not really uh, sure. Uh, yeah, you, uh, what it's not, that's not what I meant to say. It's not really clear to you what is really going on here. It's like you're biting off more than you can chew. Um, you're having fun and you're playing, but uh, this is actually something that um, you, you don't really know um, everything about this person. And you certainly uh, don't know about how entrenched uh, the situation here is because this person is going to find it really difficult to actually leave this. And um, you, yeah, it's like you don't know the depth of this um, this relationship here. This, this relationship has deeper roots than you actually realize. And um, it's like here you're the new person, but this per this your lover has very deeply invested in this other person for a long time and that counts something in this relationship so i don't feel like they're just willing to walk away from the situation it's like they have to make a decision about it and they need to talk about it and um they are willing to play their cards both ways you know not just um they're not cutting off this person here and walking towards you this is something that they still need to think about doing they are um but they are letting this person know on some level that you exist or that they're not interested and they are playing this person yeah they're playing their their wife or husband 
and trying to you know see what their reaction will be or trying to see what will happen or how easy it's going to be and i feel that this person's going to make it really hard for them to um to leave this marriage um yeah one could also say that this marriage here is already very hard um and that, you know, they have squabbles or they have difficulties, they have fights with each other. One could also read it in that way. And um, that's probably one of the reasons that uh, they are not, yeah, that that they are, are, are having difficulties with each other or the, this person's looking outside. But I want to say that um, that could also be a reason why they're thinking of leaving the situation, Okay. So that, that there are difficult words spoken, there are, there's, there are fights perhaps, there's, the uh, words have been spoken where, where it's difficult to go back on that and, um, and that's impacted the marriage. Okay, I feel like um, if this decision is made, there will be a move that would need to be made as well. Not just a move as in a house move, but actually maybe moving and traveling and uh, just moving apart. Okay, so I think that's it for you, uh, for those of you who've chosen this deck here. I hope that's answered uh, all the questions that you have about this. And um, yeah, good luck with your situation. And um, yeah, if you have questions about this, it's very difficult for me to answer you directly. I think uh, rather, you know, try to book a, a personal reading with uh, with me or with another um, uh, client, with another reader and you know basically find out then and uh from, you know about the specifics regarding your situation because this is just a general reading uh for many many people and it doesn't apply 100 percent for you okay so um for those of you who've chosen uh this deck here the we're asking about this love triangle and we want to know everything we can about this love triangle so please give us the information that we require for today okay and so we're asking now about you is them and this is their partner all right so um by the way, I don't read uh, Law Norman cards reversed, um, so I just read Tarot reversed, and um, yeah, just so you know, and you don't comment in the comment section that, uh, oh, why have I not read, read the cards reversed, just simply because I don't. So, um, all right, let me just get into this here for you. All right, so here what I see is that there's a relationship that's blossoming, um, which is in a house, which is in a, um, an institution, it could be an institution, but I feel it's more a house, it's a cozy relationship, it's a comfortable relationship, and there is uh, the hope that you could move in together, okay? Uh, like, I feel that this is where you stand right now. So this is what I've asked. These are your cards, right? So what is it? It's that you have the hope that you could move in with each other. You have the hope that you could live with each other. All right? So that's what I'm seeing here for you. And once again, these are the Norman readings. They're very direct and straight to the point. Uh, we're not going into the psychology of the situation. We're just getting some basic answers here today. So this is your lover. Your lover has difficulty talking about being settled, okay? Your lover has difficulty uh, just simply discussing it, talking about it. And this is really, yeah, this is what it's, is where they are at at this moment. And uh, their person, the person that they are connected to, 
it seems, has a child. Uh, they are either the mother or the father of the child. And they are have they have no clue about uh this um this other uh relationship here that's going on they don't have any clue about this they are hoping uh they are, they see this as a family situation which has uh innocence and purity and they actually um enjoy that you know they they don't really um they don't really know anything about this other th other situation. I feel that this person has, I feel like this person might have promised you that they would move in with you or they given you the hope that they would uh, move in with you or they'd have a relationship which, which is a living in relationship and therefore you have this hope here. And I feel that this, um, they've given you this, this impression, but it's really hard for them to make a decision around moving, around being around being anchored they, it's very hard for them to make a decision or, or to talk about this um how anchored they are or how settled they are or how committed they are in a situation okay so this person is they, they're really having difficulty communicating this and i feel that they're having difficulty communicating this to you Because actually what they are is that they are settled with this other person. So they have, there's this hope that they have given you, okay, about a relationship, about living together, about being with each other. and But at the same time, they are committed and anchored and settled with somebody else. Of with whom they have a child, most likely. Okay, for those of you who are in situations where this person doesn't have a child, and um, they are, um, yeah, with somebody who doesn't have a child, I feel that that well, there's a there's a kind of childlike purity and innocence to their union or to their them being together. There isn't a sense uh, that I'm getting that she or he knows about that about this about you um if you are the wife or the husband here and uh your uh, partner your husband or wife has not somebody else then the, then you are actually living with this person right and you are comfortably living and in an, in this um settled situation but your partner is actually um, interested in somebody else and, and, and committed to them. All right. So there's different ways of reading this because you are in different situations. And so I'm, I'm just giving you the different options here. Oh, it feels like there's a kind of... Um, like there's almost a competition for a house or something here because I feel that this person's also looking at this home at this house at this this um kind of that is the central point of this and the, the conversations about that about where you live about uh the living arrangements this is actually important in this situation In some instances, there may be a hope that there is a child coming into the situation. So if you are, um, if you are a, um, if, if there is, the, if for some situations, and I feel this is very rare, but this may apply to you. There may be a scenario where you are the, um, you, you are connected to this person, of course, and they are, and they are hoping that they can have a child with them, with this person so that they could keep this person so that they could anchor this person so that there's this hope that they could bring this newness this, this beauty of having a child into their lives so that they don't have to you um yeah that they can keep this person okay and i feel that um like they could be like both the both parties may be hoping that there could be a child here or um 
yeah, I feel that, that I feel very strongly that there's a child in this. And I'm, of course, the, the child card can be read in many ways. And, and it's like um, it's new. It can be new beginnings as well. But I do feel that uh, I'm getting a very specific scenario here. And maybe this applies to only one of you. But I'm getting a very specific scenario where there is um, you are a woman. OK, and you are having a relationship with this person. You perhaps um, share a home or a flat or some kind of abode where you meet with each other. OK, and you're hoping that this could be a permanent situation where they would move in with you. OK, and but this person is very much, um, you know, committed and very uh, much um, invested in this scenario here and they they, they have a, 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 um, a wife where which is the mother of their kids and where there's a kind of eternal bond here and so and it's very hard for for the, this person uh here to talk about you know uh unsettling that like a talk about commitment you know it's very hard this person might have been commitment phobic for many years uh, before they actually decided to make a commitment. And so now it's very hard for them to re re to talk about that again. Okay. So that's, you know, just one scenario. I'm trying to see if I can. There, there's so many different scenarios here. I'm getting like so many. There are various scenarios. Like one of the things I'm thinking here is that you are the um, the person who is in a relationship. Yeah. You're the like the wife or the husband here. And um, yeah, you have a hope that you can have a child, okay? You you are hoping that you have a child, but your partner is actually, uh, you know, having a, an affair with uh, with somebody else, and um, and is in fact potentially making the other person pregnant or potentially having a child with the other person. So. Um, yeah, this is, um, there are various scenarios here. I have to say that I don't feel so comfortable doing these readings, but I'm doing it because uh, it's been so um, much, it's been so requested, you know, here. But I get an uneasy feel with this, these cards here, which I didn't get in the in the first uh, deck. And um, uh, I just want to reiterate what I've said and I'll see if there's anything else that comes out of here. So, um because I just feel that this could be read in so many different ways. And I feel like so many of you who are going to choose this option are going to have very different scenarios. And I feel like I need to spend like an hour uh, just basically uh, putting them out there for you. So I'm just going to make the, the main points and kind of, uh, uh, you know, make it very specific here. And hopefully that resonates uh, with you. So, uh, yeah, as I mentioned, the third party has a, uh, is invested in the home okay they invested in the home they invested in being anchored in that home and um and that is a, a central point okay it's the home it's being anchored and it's the child and it's this eternal bond or this um this or this attraction as well it could be an attraction here it's those are the focuses yeah so this could be a wife that's uh, or a mother of the ch children who's interested in um you know in the the attraction keeping the attraction alive in maintaining that they very much um settled and they they don't plan on going anywhere and uh, their home is their focus okay because it's nighting uh for those of you who don't believe that's an english word it isn't but um the, it's in, in chess you have the knight uh, formation and in Lenormand cards we use them as well so uh here there is um uh yeah this bear which is the mother often or the other woman uh knights the house the knights the um the the anchor and it's also uh, yeah in the line of the the child and the the attraction or the or it could be the eternal bond or the uh, longevity of something um well longevity in a more um kind of ethereal way in a more um cosmic way in a way that uh involves divinity because just longevity on its own is the tree card so um that's what i'm seeing here the person that you're in love with or the person that you're asking about is, is sitting in a really difficult situation all right 
uh, because they are, have this attraction and they have this hope and they don't know what to do between the two and they find it really hard to talk about this commitment whether it's being committed to you or whether it's uh, being committed to this person here okay and um Yeah, I feel that there's a chance that you could also become pregnant here. That this is um, because this card here is knighting this year, and there's the child. And this card here is, can, can mean a relate. For me, I read it as a relationship as well most of the time. But actually, this is some. This is also you know the stalk card and and giving birth and uh, bringing uh, new beginnings also can be moving. And so um, they, they could be also that you're hoping that you move or hoping to move in with this person or hoping simply to move. But there's, it also could be that you are pregnant and you're going to have a child. And you're hoping that this person leaves that person there. You're hoping that, you know, that actually, that you're hoping you can be settled with them. Um There's definitely a hope for a child yeah, in all of this. Or hope that the, the of of a hope for the child's welfare or well being. And the attraction or the uh the long term commitment uh is, is a difficult path here. So I think I've said what I need to say for this reading here. As I said, it's it's very spread out and the energies are all over the place in this one. And I feel that, yeah, as I said, those of you who have chosen this one have very different scenarios. And it's hard for me to pinpoint one because what I'm hearing is that when I when I when I get the message for for one of for a few of you, I'm getting this this thing that it's not relevant for 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 the others. And so I've tried to put it out there for you, but I'm not really sure of uh, how uh, how relevant that is. OK, so I hope you've enjoyed that anyway and that it does help you in some way. So moving on uh, to those of you who've chosen this deck here. Uh, we are asking about love triangle situation. And um, I'm going to ask for, you, for, for them to give me some cards related to you. Show me where you were at in all of this. There we are. This is your partner. this is the person who is the other person here all right in this scenario so let's see what let's see where you're at in all of this Okay, so you have the hope of loyalty and um, bringing to light something beautiful. You're hoping here that you could have a beautiful uh, friendship and there could be loyalty and that you could just have happiness, okay? This is your partner. Wow. Okay. So your partner has, um, so you are this, you know, you're hoping for this loyalty and you're hoping for this fidelity and you're hoping that you could have happiness but your partner is at the end all right and they are not um, enabling this they are making it extremely difficult they are punishing this they are really making it difficult and they cutting away the hope uh, that you have they are cutting away things they are bringing to an end they are punishing they are being really difficult in this and then here is, okay, so what I was feeling um, as we were uh, shuffling these cards is that in many of your cases here, 
and I'll read it both ways. In many of the cases here, you are the one who's the wife or the husband in the scenario and you are committed to saving your marriage or your partnership with this person. And uh, you are just, you know, you are still loyal and you're waiting for them to get their act together, so to say. And this person is just making that really, really difficult. And it's it's really hurting you guys. It's really punishing you all in this scenario. It's very hard for you. It's constant. It's repetitive. It's it's painful. Okay. And uh, they've brought about this ending. And uh, they are, yeah, they're cutting away um, this um, the hope that you have for this happiness. And they're also cutting away the difficulties uh, for the other person. Okay, so the other person here in that scenario, yeah, it feels like the other person here has uh, a really difficult path because they are waiting for a long time for this um, eternal bond or being together to build this legacy with this person, to create something with this person. And they are the ones who are the third party. Okay, so this is the one one scenario here. And I'm just going to go ahead and for the next couple of minutes, talk about that scenario. And then I'll give you the next um, scenario. So here we have a situation where you are hoping, um, you are hoping that there could be a cutting away of the difficult path which is punishing the happiness, all right? And here you have uh, the loyalty that, yeah, it's the loyalty is being, is punishing or, or making the uh, long-term future difficult here for this person. But this person has already decided that they are cutting away the hope that you have. They've already decided that it's at, it's at end. Okay. What I feel is that this person here, uh, in some situations, may have had enough of both you as well as the their other person. and But their other person still has the hope of being together, still has the hope of having this kind of relationship which might have been here for a long time. So it, if you... In a, in, a, in a scenario here where you are the husband or wife here, uh, it could be that this person is fed up of everything. Your lover, your, your partner is not actually interested in this anymore, but they are also not interested in them anymore, okay? And I feel that they could be moving away from them. It's like they've imploded. It's like they just don't want any more of this stuff that's going on around them. And yet you stand there with uh, with loyalty and offering your support and hoping for uh, things to be good again, but it's or, or hoping for the best rather. And this is just a, a, a hope that you have, right? I feel also that this other person here is, in fact, um, if this person is fed up and they just don't want to have anything to do with either of you. This other person is trying other means, manipulation, to be able to. They've been cunning. It's they 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 using other means to be able to to get their attention again. They may be blackmailing them. Uh, they may be holding them against something or holding them to a promise. So for those of you who actually are, um, yeah, for those of you who who this. The, where this is uh, actually you are the third party here and that this person's married to them uh, or this person's connected with them as I've um, wanted to look at these readings um, for those of you here's a situation where this person the husband or wife is using whatever means they can to keep their their partner right and they're going to do that. They're just going to keep their partner no matter what happens. They are committed to this, uh, to the longevity or the, uh, yeah, they're committed to the long-term part of the relationship, no matter how difficult it is. Yeah, even if, if that person's pushed them away, even if they've ended it, 
this person will do whatever they can to keep them. Okay? And even when this person hurts them, even when this person does things that make this, per this person, the other person really unhappy, they're going to do whatever they want, to whatever they can to keep them. All right? In this situation, um, if you are the, uh, if you are the, the third person here, uh, as I said, yeah, that we're still talking about that. If you are the third person here and uh, this person is the other person, they are actually very comfortable in their in their home and in their uh, the scenario. What is important to them is the legacy. What is important to them is the status. What is important to them is what they've built and the idea of what they have. What is important to them is how other people see them. And how people see how rosy their marriage is or their scenario is. They're not willing to let go of that. They are totally invested in that. And they will do anything to, to keep that. Okay. Regardless of how unhappy their partner is. Regardless of how whatever this person tries to do to cut them away. They are not going to let it happen. They, they're going to make it really tough for them to, to leave. They don't mind the hardship. They don't mind the difficulty. Yeah, they almost enjoy playing that because this person has a lot of power, gains a lot of power from this game that they're playing. They don't mind that this person is being destroyed in the process or it's breaking them down emotionally. It's very hard for them to deal with this, that, it's, that they don't want them. This person doesn't care about that. They're going to do whatever they can to keep them here. It's a, it's not a nice energy here. It's not a nice energy that I'm picking up. It feels like they don't care about the other person at all. And this person doesn't care either. They've come to the end of their tether. They fed up. They just want to get out of the situation. And I feel like they don't even, they, they just, you know, they, they don't actually, at this point, they're so exhausted. They're so tired here that they're not even uh, looking forward to anything that they could have with you. Yeah. So in some scenarios where they have this uh, controlling, manipulative uh, person, wife or husband in their lives that's not letting them go, they could be hoping to have happiness with you. They could be hoping to have this loyalty with you. They're hoping to have this fidelity with you. But they are so tired. They're so exhausted that it's very hard because they cannot cut them away, even though they've been trying to. Um, that they just exhausted. This is the feeling that I'm getting from this person. They they just so tired and they just don't know how to go on with this scenario. If you are this person here, uh, yeah, that is that has two other scenarios, two other people. Um. I feel that one of them is just trying to cut you away or trying to or is punishing you or trying to punish you for what you've done to them and is just finished with you. But they will continue to hurt you or hold you responsible or uh, be resentful towards you and just holding a grudge uh, against you. And no matter how happy you try to be or no matter how good you try to be, uh, no matter how much you try to give this person, they have not forgiven you and they are not going to forgive you. They're just going to be absolutely difficult with you. And the other person uh, that you have where you may be thinking of having a long-term relationship with, uh, they are not to be trusted. And this is actually going to be a really difficult path for you um, to actually be in a relationship with them and to be happy you're happy, happy on your own, actually. It's better off that you be on your own than if you are, than you, when you, you know, than contemplating a relationship with this person because there'll always be things that you don't know about this person. They'll, they'll never be truly loyal to you here. So I think I've covered most of the scenarios here and I hope that's been useful to you. So just let me know what you think about that and, uh, what applies to you, if anything, and if it doesn't, well, move on. So 
I'm um, going on to the fourth deck, which is this one here. And the question we're asking, or the scenario we're looking at, is this love triangle. So we want to know about this love triangle that you're in. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and choose the cards for you. Okay. I'm going to give it a shuffle and ask about your lover or the person that you're connected to. The person that you love. And this is the other person. This is the third person in this scenario. Go into it. Hmm. So here you have love. It's real love. And it's a long-term love. And it could be love that's come from, you know, um, from it's, it's a very long-term love. It's like an infinite love that you have here. It could also be that... Um, this love has come over lifetimes, if you believe in uh, lifetimes, like past lifetimes, etc., and will go uh, past this lifetime, okay? It's an eternal love that you have here. And uh, there is a real, um, I feel like you are the one who's, like you're the other person here, though. It may be that you're not being completely honest with this person. Maybe that you are watching this person and not really... Um, putting forth exactly what you desire from them okay so this is your partner here and they are having the affair okay in this in this deck here it's like you are the one it's like you're the one who's the other person right um and you have this eternal love for them they are married yeah and they are lying about them in their marriage they are deceiving their partner and they have a decision to be made regarding that. Or if they haven't begun um, cheating on, on their partner, they're thinking about it. Okay. In fact, I feel that's more likely. I feel like here um, that um, this person is like you have this real love for this person. And they're considering, uh, they're making, they having to make a decision about whether they are unfaithful in their marriage. And let me see. Okay, so their partner is this very loyal person uh, who is very happy with them. And uh, they have a lot of happiness here. Okay, and everything is good and comfortable and happy in their home. And um, joyful and there's a lot of um, discussions. And she, I feel like this person, if it's a she... It's a female. I feel like it's very strongly like this is a female and that's a male and this is a female here. Um, if you have that, this person is a very chatty person. This person loves chatting and loves talking and she's just a happy person. And she's created a very um, happy home for them. They are very happy at their home. They live together. I feel like these two live together and you are on the outside here. And it's lonely for you. And I feel that it's wearing you away on some levels. And this love that you have is eternal, but it does wear you away. It's very hard for you, the situation. Oh, I feel that. Yes. Mm. So if you hear me sighing every now and again very heavily, it's because I'm trying to release the energy that I'm picking up uh, as I do these readings. Um, 
it's not because I don't enjoy doing them. It's just that I need to release them, release the energy as I go along because I don't want it to stay with me. So um, your the person that you love needs to make a decision about whether they follow their heart and they go for this eternal love, this love that is familiar to them from for generations. It feels like for love that's very long, like they've known each other, like you've known each other all your lives, kind of love. And whether they do that and then in that case give up this. And they see you as not being all that honest. They see you as not being completely, they're not sure about you, but they're sure about their the person that they're with. And therefore, it's a very difficult decision because here they are not sure about you. Uh, you've come across to them as being not really, um, I wouldn't say you're not really an honest person, but rather somebody who's manipulative, uh, could be manipulative or you like, you play the game with them and you don't have the, you have, you're not necessarily this person, okay, but they've come to know you or the way in which they see you is somebody who uh, will do whatever they want whatever you whatever they want to get you could to get them you will go to any lengths to get them that's how they see you right now and they don't know they feel this love and they feel this connection and they know that you know there's something real here but they don't know whether they should leave this happy comfortable loyal situation here to go to you even though they have this love with you because they're not sure if you'll be faithful to them and they're not sure if they can trust you they they the trust has been broken somewhere along the line in the scenario here and in order for this to actually uh i feel that in order for them to choose you they would the trust would need need to be repaired here so trust is extremely important to them yeah, because what I feel, uh, I see that they value the trust that they have with the, uh, the other person. And they're aware of the trust that they don't have with you. And commitment, loyalty, um, their promise that they've made in terms of the marriage or the partnership that they have with this person is extremely important to them as well. But... At the, on the other hand, they have this other love with you that they've never experienced before. You've touched them in a way in which they've never experienced before. They don't know what this is. They have no clue. They have no clue as to what this actually is. They they are just, um, you know, completely blown away by this. But at the same time, they're very happy in their homes. They're very happy with their wife or their, their husband or whoever it is that they live with. Their lover, their other person. They are very, very happy here and uh, they are not willing to give this up, it seems. It seems they're not willing to give this up here. Giving this up, th this offers them much more than this situation here offers them. Here, in a way, they, they, the way they reason this is that um, they live on this earthly plane and this is an earthly uh, coziness or satisfaction or comfort that they receive from their partner which encompasses everything that they need and so they look at that and they think okay well i live in an earthly plane and this is something not from this earth this is like some kind of other love this is some kind of cosmic love and um, this is not of this earth and so why should i give up what it is that i have here in this comfortable situation and head into this unknown space here with this person, which I'm not sure I trust uh, because of some things that have happened early on in the situation, in your encounter with each other. Uh, at the beginning, they did trust you, but at some point they lost their trust. And I don't think it's anything that you've done here. I feel like it's, it's yeah, it's not really anything that you've done. It's something that, um, it's more like... Um, it's more like how they chose to see you. It's more, yeah, it's like how they chose to see you because you were different from them, from this person and what they used to. So they chose to see you in, in this light. And maybe they've chosen to see you in this light so that they don't have to question what, what they have here. So that they can continue to enjoy this and, and continue to be part of this. You know, they're protecting their marriage. 
I feel that they're protecting this marriage from this decision that they may need to make with regard to you. This person is not actually leaving uh, their 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 partner. Not right now. It could change in the future. It could change in the future when they choose to see you in a different light. But here you are. And I feel that you are in this for the long haul. For many of you who choose this particular reading, you are saying that this person is your twin flame and they belong to you. And um, yeah, I'm not saying that they are your twin flame, by the way, but it is very much that kind of feeling. It could very much karmic also kind of feeling um, that you have with each other because you've known each other for a long period of time. But this person gives this other person here gives them happiness and they give it gives them they give them loyalty which is very important to them as i said uh, all already and they bring a certain livelihood and a certain life to them which they not don't necessarily see in you they see you as somebody who's suffering or is going through difficulty who's lonely who maybe struggles with depression and uh, sorry i'm giving you clairvoyant insights here i'm sure the most of you read along and don't see this in in this but i i'm um I'm really resonating with this particular reading and um, I'm reading you uh, for you clairvoyantly at this moment. So, um, yeah, they, they, they see you as somebody who's prone to depression and prone to having difficulties. They see you as somebody who will get will go through extreme lengths to get what they want. But will they actually still want you want them afterward? Yeah, they're not sure that if you have them, whether you will still want them. There's certainly a, a karmic connection here. There's certainly something that's similar to a twin flame type of relationship here. But I don't see them leaving. I don't see them leaving the scenario. Although, as I said, they could, you know, look at it later and perhaps they've changed their minds. Okay, let me see if I can give you some other scenarios here. Actually, I'm feeling so strongly at this moment that... Um, what I've said to you is is the, the truth of this reading that I actually can't find another scenario. And I'm sure there is. I'm sure like many people can read this in many different ways. Or even if you if I looked at these cards uh, an hour later or after this reading, I'd be able to say, oh, well, you know, there's this and this and this. But the feeling I have, I cannot shake this feeling off um, here off of what I've said to you. I'm just going to give it another moment to see if I can actually um, find another a scenario that fits you. I'm sorry, I'm just not picking up anything here. So that is uh, your reading for today. I hope that's been useful and I hope that resonates with you. Um, as I said, it's it, that, that energy was really 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 strong for me and i couldn't quite um shake the energy off so for those of you who chose this one and you didn't get your answer i'm really sorry um that is the the predominant energy in this for those people who've chosen this deck and i couldn't quite shake that off so let's see if i can shake that off for the next uh one here and for those of you who've chosen this deck here um the question we're asking is, yeah, about this love triangle. Tell us about this love triangle. Tell us everything that we need to know about this love triangle. That's you. Now we're asking about the one that you love. And now we're asking about the other person.
So in all these readings, you were this person, okay? The, the, the querent is this person. This is the one you love, and this is the other person. But I might have read it um, differently in the other readings, if in case you watch the other readings. So here, let's go ahead and look at what these cards have to share with us. Okay, yeah, I'm just seeing that there's feelings. It might be at a work situation or in a professional um, scenario or at school or at university or at a, at a hospital or in some kind of bureaucratic uh, scenario at the mayor's house. Um, I just I don't know why that's come to me. But um, in some kind of house, which is or a building where you work or where there's, um, yeah, there's some feelings developing there. And I feel, I'm not sure if you are in contact with this person. I'm not getting the sense that you uh, have a relationship with this person. Uh, but simply that this person is, exists in this work or this institutional environment here. And you see them indoors. And they have feelings that are developing. And there's dreams and that there is some kind of, um, you know, yeah, fantasies, dreams, wonderment about this person. Okay, so let's look at the person. Okay, the person here is, there is a sense that they are confused about the meeting, which brings them light and happiness. So this person, I feel like they know they know that you have some feelings for them, or they're aware of it. And um, they actually are... Um, they, they are confused about that. They're confused because they meet you or they see you regularly. There's, a, you know, you meet with each other on a, you meet with each other or whenever you've met with each other, even if it's just been once, it's been, it's brought them a lot of happiness and joy and it's been like a gift for them. But at the same time, it's confused them. Okay. Because I feel that they are the ones who are with somebody else, not you. And there's the other person here. Okay, so the person that they are with here is actually destroying, punishing the uh, longevity of that relationship. And I feel that they're doing that by being really hard on, on your on the person that you love. They're not kind to the person that um, you love. Okay, so I'm just going to say it out here. This is you, this is the person that you love, and this is um, them, the other person, the third party. And this third party is like walking all over them and their kindness, and they're, they are soft and gentle. Yeah, the person that you love is soft and gentle, and this person's walking all over them, and they're kind of taking advantage of them, and they are just, they have their way with them. And as a result, it's ruining the uh, long-term potential of their relationship. So they aren't necessarily married, they could be married, um, but they are definitely in a long-term relationship. I feel that here because this person is kind of working away at that long-term um, relationship. So they are destroying it from within. Okay. So this person here, you know, if these two are connected and this person's doing kind of like whether they're doing it within intentionally or not, whatever they're doing, they're committing a particular action which is wearing away the long-term potential of their relationship. And they have met you at work or at an institution like a school or a university or a hospital or um, a state office, uh, some kind of bureaucratic office here. And they recognize that you have feelings for them. And this makes them very happy. It brings some kind of lightness to them. It makes them feel appreciated. And they are aware of these meetings that you have and they see you or where they see you. They're aware of that. And it's these meetings where they bump into you when you go to see them or when they come to see you for whatever reason that you act, they, they feel really happy. Okay. But they are confused about that. Yeah, they're confused about that. I feel that um, I feel that this other person that's in their life here 
she feels she can feel or she or he can feel that you have feelings for them it's it's their jealousy or their uneasiness about the fact that that they can pick up on a subliminal level or a subconscious level that this person receives joy and happiness a deep joy and happiness from the feelings that you have for them and it 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 kind of it disturbs them and that is partially one of the reasons that um, they are, you know, punishing or destroying this marriage or this long-term potential because of their jealousy. They can feel that this person is kind of strayed in their heart, if not in them, in, in, in actuality. I feel like this person has not really uh, begun anything with you and they are being very cautious about that. I don't think they, they're going to go ahead and do that. And, um, yeah, but this person is, is very jealous, very insecure, very upset about that. Um, that they have, that their partner has chosen something that's not them. And, uh, that they have this joy with somebody else or feeling about something else. And I don't think they, they've spoken about this. You know, this is not something that was spoken about. This is not something that they know consciously. This is something that they can pick up. You know, when they are with their with their person, that their person is not the way that they used to be with them. They, they, they don't bring the joy to them anymore. You do. The feelings that you have for them bring the joy. Yeah. So it's not even you. This person feels appreciates the feelings that you have for them. This person feels validated by the feelings you have for them. They feel affirmed by that, and they long for that. But, and this person here is not giving them much love at this moment. So they long for that. And this is their a space that they escape to to feel that. Um, it's like a fantasy that they have about you. But it confuses them because they don't want to be disloyal. So that is actually what I'm reading here. Let me give me, give me a moment to see if there's something else I see here. If you're this person who's actually um, here and you have two people in your lives, okay, you have you're very sensitive, and um, it's important for you to do things the right way and to do things the legal way and to do things the proper way, and to secure a home, etc. This is your priority, and you are confused about the love that you have with this other person and the meetings that you have had with this other person, but you certainly are not into. The third, per the other, per the, the third party, or the whether it's a husband or wife or whatever, because you recognize the the pain that this person's causing you, and there's a great deal of sensitivity that you experience as a result, and a vulnerability that you experience at the hands of this person. So that's it uh, for those people who uh, who where you are the one who ha have two uh, people here. I also feel that your priority would be work and maintaining your home and happiness and peace and joy in your home and not actually um not really jumping into anything right now or even if you, that you are with one of these people you're certainly trying to uh to bring an end to uh the the long-term relationship that you have with another person but you're not really 100 percent certain about the person that you are in love with right now just want to see if there's another scenario here. Okay, for some of you, you may be the uh, husband or the wife here. And for you, it's really important. Uh, for you, the most important thing, what you feel is the most important thing, is the status and the home that is provided. And uh, this is something that you have a great emotional attachment to. And you're confused about the, uh, the, you're confused about your partner at this moment. And because you feel that your partner is, uh, I feel as is very few of you who might experience this, like two of you or something, but you feel as if your partner here is, uh, is more for the community, is more for others than for you. And that's what brings them joy. Okay, but it brings you confusion and some degree of unhappiness and 
confusion in your home or because you'd like them to be perhaps more there but at the same time that they, they are not your really your focus your focus is, is your home and and the other things and their focus is not the home either their focus is other things this is how you see it but there's somebody here who's uh after them <laughs> who's kind of going to do anything that they can to kind of um break down the long term commitment that you have and uh, and 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 get to them yeah there's somebody else who's riding forth to uh have this happiness with your person with your partner and um they are going to do so they're determined to do so and they they're going to hurt others in the process and they they don't care if they hurt others in the process they don't care if they break through a, a long term commitment or relationship they're out to get what they want and they're going to do it anyway and they focus on the happiness that they can have with this person uh this person here this person that you're in love with feels very um for, yeah this they feel like a very soft person a very gentle person um across all these scenarios they feel like a really yeah like a sensitive person they really, they're not going to have a fight they're not going to be aggressive they they're just going to be calm and understand things intellectually and then act and um they're confused and con concerned about uh issues like infidelity or what their feelings may be or how their feelings may be straying or what is happening around them they're concerned about that it impacts them and uh i feel that that is something that is 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 a trait that they have so i don't see anything else in the scenario and so i'm going to round this up here yeah this has been uh, a long reading for, uh, if, for if any of you have watched this whole video and um i just want to say thank you for coming by i hope that um these um, readings have actually brought some clarity to you and have answered some of your questions. It has been very different, I have to say. Like all of these uh, scenarios here have been ext extraordinarily different and I'm quite surprised by some of the variations that have come about. I'm uh, particularly surprised by one of the, um, the, um, the readings here, which I don't remember which one it was, but which was particularly strong. There was just one scenario and I couldn't get beyond that. And so uh, I'd be curious to hear what most of you have to say about this. Uh, I read these cards clairvoyantly and I pick up on the energy that, um, yeah, that I'm, that these cards exude for, for you as, a, as an audience, as a, a, for my viewers. Uh, so, you know, if it doesn't resonate, then then do move on and uh, don't uh, take it too seriously. If it's not for you, if it doesn't resonate, it's not for you. And uh, yeah, just just move along. And I thank all of you for coming by. And for those of you who've made it this far, I thank you very much for coming through today and participating in this reading. And I, as I said, I hope that this has been of some benefit to you. I wish you all much love and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.